Dublin is Dublin, <laughs> you know what I mean? Home is home, and this is my home. I think it's gonna be, it's literally gonna be a bear pit down here. Yeah, I feel like I can feel it. I can almost hear it. I can feel it in my heartbeat. I don't know, right now I'm just seeing screaming, screaming fans. I can hear them. I'd love the cage here, yeah? That'd be sweet. Last time I was here was probably 2009, UFC 93. I'm sitting somewhere up there to think that now, now I'm back here and it's my show. Just under two weeks before I actually, actually come out here and fight, I'm gonna blow the roof off this place. I'm gonna shut the show out. The whole country's gonna shut down. Next year, we'll do a football stadium for my title defense. This is my first time back sparring here in Dublin in over five weeks, so. Or two weeks from the fight. Not next Saturday, the Saturday following is the fight. So I'll just be playing in the gym, keeping loose, keeping nice, make sure I'm stretched, make sure I'm rubbed out. Um, and then of course my diet tapers down. I need to be careful what I eat. Be strict on that. This is ultimately where the paycheck is earned. This is the real fight. The weighing is the real fight for, for guys like me. Um, guys like Uni on the other hand, drinking beers and shit. <laughs> Very nice. This is this is the life we chose. Hey, I would have loved to catch that. I swear to God, I'm good at catching them. Yeah, I do pluck them flying beings from the sky. Bruce Lee style. Let's go. I wanted to set up an environment that the guys would just kind of come in and just kind of hang around for the entire day. It's really improved people's skill level because they're spending, you know, it's, it's pretty simple, they're spending more hours on the mat. <laughs> nice. This is city centre Dublin, uh, just off Grafton Street, one of the main streets. Sunday evening, Sunday night, and then training tomorrow. It's the last week now, last training week, last time with spar, last time. You're just bringing it down, bringing it down, bringing it down. The calm before the storm, so to speak. Funny enough, my first fight for the UFC when I was in Sweden, that bar right there was one of the only bars that show, showed it. Now it's on live TV, terrestrial TV. How about that? In less than a year. Oh man, how are you, brother? All right? Good. Well, <laughs> oh, we're 13 days out now, so I need to be on on point. It's like I'm at the bare minimum making featherweight. You know what I mean? It's a, it's literally scientific, and I can't I can't go one way or the other way. It has to be perfect. So I'm definitely strict on it. Right now, I'm gonna have some red meat. Nice steak on a stone here. Rustic Stone is one of my favorite restaurants here in Dublin. Um, so I'm gonna spoil myself a little bit today, eh? <laughs> How are you, man? All right? Not too bad. How are you, sir? Back to Rustic Stone. I'm looking forward to this, man. Oh, man. I haven't had red meat in a, in a while. You know what you want. About a week. About a week and a half having the red meat. Like, a week out, I'll cut it out altogether. With that little mushroom glaze, oh my god. This place is phenomenal. When I watched the fighter that Connor was in August, in his last fight, he looks like a novice to me now, compared to the Connor that is now. I, I really think people are in for a shock when they see the improvements. He has a whole new arsenal of techniques as well. 
you know, every part of his game has gone so far up. And, and like I said, I believe he's a much better athlete, a much more mindful athlete now than he was when he last fought. So it's going to be something. There's a few of them from uh, what did this catch on camera? And be like, <laughs> Ah. I need chopsticks. Where, where's the damn? Where's the damn chopsticks? <laughs> <laughs>